A very useful file management utility is the move command or the MV command. Now what does MV do? Well it moves files and directories to new locations. If you're familiar with the CP command, the copy command, typically you would CP file 1 to file 2 and it makes an exact copy of file 1 to file 2. But you have two files still, right? But when you do a MV, a move instead of a copy, it actually moves file 1 to file 2. So it's essentially a rename. And I can show you this in action if I want to ls my home directory here. So list my home directory. I have a file here called macho.sh. Let's move that or rename it. So move macho.sh into macho new.sh and now when I ls you can see now macho.sh is no longer there macho new sh is there now I don't want to do that I actually want my old file back so I'm going to rename it again I'm going to move macho-new.sh back over to macho.sh and now if I ls you can see I've moved the file back to its original name. Now let me CD over into my downloads directory because within my downloads directory, I've created this test directory. And if I ls that directory, the test directory, inside it I have five test files that I've created. They're one through five dot txt. So with the move command, you can move files. You can also move directories. I can move the test directory over to a new directory. I'm gonna call it test Two. And now when I ls my downloads directory, I no longer have test1, I have test2. But it's still the same directory. If I ls the contents, you can see those five text files are still there. Move does have an interactive mode, so that's done with the I flag. And this is the same with CP and also the RM command. They all have this dash I interactive mode flag. What this does is if you're moving a file to a location that already exists, as far as a file name that already exists, it's going to prompt you, hey, you're about to overwrite a file, yes or no, do you want to do this? And I can show you this in action. If I overwrite uh, 1.txt that's within the test2 directory, let's overwrite another file that's in the directory, say 2.txt, it's going to ask me, hey, you're about to overwrite 2.txt with 1.txt. Do you really want to do this? Yes or no? So Y or N? In this case, I'm going to answer N for no. If you're in a situation where you always want to overwrite the files, you can actually give it the dash F flag or the forced flag. What this does is if any time it encounters a situation where it's about to overwrite a file, it will go ahead and overwrite the file anyway. And that is the dash F flag. And then finally, there is also the dash in flag for no clobber mode. So no clobber means we're never ever going to overwrite an existing file. We're not going to ask you about it. We're just never going to overwrite an existing file. And in this case you can see in the command I gave it was going to overwrite 2.txt. It refused to do that. So dash I ask you about it. Force never asks you about it, it just always overwrites the files, and dash n never overwrites the files. One very important thing to know is that if you're in a situation where you have used dash i, dash f, and dash n, all those flags in one command, the only one that actually has any effect is the very last one. Obviously these three flags are in conflict, the one that's at the very end of the command, the last one, is actually the one that has the effect. So there you have the most basic usage of MV. There's not much to it. If you want to learn a little more about MV, type man MV in the terminal to read the man page for MV.